In this video, we travel to the ancient city to loot 100 windmills and share our findings with you. Hi, and welcome to another Pixel K video and happy holidays everyone. In case you're not familiar with it, the ancient city is an event map that was introduced to Last Oasis back in November. The map features new loot sites, plenty of river camps and special traders. Our focus today is purely on windmills, which is a new special lootable site that's unique to this event map. The windmills can be found around the map and in their lootable and broken state they look like this, but more on that shortly. Let's jump back to the map briefly and outline where these structures can be found. You won't find them in the center, nor the north and south watery areas. You will find most in the hillier parts, which are the areas in a somewhat autumn-like color with grey-like borders on this map. To explore the treasures of these windmills, you will need a walker with a ballista and harpoons, as well as repair hammers. In this video, we will show you what we received after looting 100 of these loot sites. The process is pretty much like this. You find a windmill that's not been looted, like this one, with a broken top and in need of repairs. Run up to it and hit it repeatedly with a repair hammer. Once repaired, its sails get restored, like you can see here, and it's quite easy to notice and usually only takes 5-6 to six hammer blows. The next step is to harpoon the mill from the foundation to the top part of it, anywhere it goes. You can even technically do this before you repair it. After being repaired and harpooned, you will need to pull the harpoon. So simply drive your walker just slightly backwards and to the inner part of the building, the screw if you like, starts to turn and screw itself upwards. This happens quite fast and the only trick here is to avoid that the harpoon drop snaps, so that you only need one shot. If you're using a small walker, like a dinghy, the rope rarely snaps even if you put full pressure on the reverse, while on a bigger walker with more mass, the rope easily snaps. We usually pull back carefully, then move a few tiny steps forward again. If you listen, you can hear the level of stress on your harpoon rope, so it's just down to practice. You can also quickly mount the ballista again, and briefly reel out with one tiny click. So whatever your method is, if you need more than one harpoon, that's fine as well. Once the fourth hole in the screw is visible, you can generally head in for your loot. If you look inside the windmill, a pile of rubble can now be found and, once searched, you'll either be happy or less happy with your rewards. On that topic, we spent many hours traveling this map and looting 100 of these windmills, and we got quite a bit of different loot. Now, be aware that we did our test on a private server with 10x resources enabled, so don't get too excited about the numbers seen on screen. That said, in all of our notes and overview, we have of course converted it all back to loot rates of official servers. All in all, we created this video to show you what to expect from the new loot sites on this event map. The loot is for sure quite random and as well luck based. And we definitely don't think we exhausted the full loot table with our 100 windmills, though it gives you a good idea. Before we finish off with a full overview, here are some examples of what we got. Please don't forget to subscribe, give us a thumbs up and even hit that bell to support us. So what did we get the most of in our case? Well, here is our full overview.
that's all for our experience on the ancient city event map we hope you enjoyed this short video to support us don't hesitate to like subscribe and even hit that bell for future updates